Good morning, children. Hope you're doing really well. Um, this is the second session of this week. So we're going to start off with quick write to begin with. I say the sound and then you write it. Okay, so first, can you write for me ch, ch for chocolate? Next one is qu for quiet. Next one is j for jelly. V for van. Sh for shark. W, w for white. for fox y for yellow z for zip z for this yep that's right that was yesterday's sound with the voice Okay, well done. Well done if you managed to keep up with those. Okay, rub out your boards or start a new page. Let's move on to tricky words. Your first tricky word, can you write for me? She, she is a girl. She. Okay, when you've done that, next tricky word, me. Come and learn with me. Next tricky word, B. Can you be quiet? B. Next one, we. We are doing really well. Next one, was. Okay, we did that one yesterday was your doubly special remember there's a clue I can give you how do we write was yep whenever you hear a oh after the what sound you always write it with an a not an o oh. okay was and your last tricky word he he is a boy he Okay, well done, that's all the tricky words for this week. Right, if you've got any of them modelled up, remember to make note of those, write them down, put them everywhere around your house. So every time you see them, you can practice reading and writing them, okay? So yesterday we did this sound, okay, the one with the voice. Mm -hmm. Today we're going to do this sound again, but this time voiceless. So there's no voice this time, we just use tongue and teeth. Okay, so we're going to practice writing some quiet words in our phoneme frame. So draw your phoneme frames for me, please. And I have got some really challenging words to practice writing today, more than three phonemes. Okay, so we really, really need to listen carefully today. The first word we're going to write is thin, thin. She's very thin. Okay, so let's sound it out. What's the first sound in thin? Not for fish. Okay, thin. What comes next? Watch how I break it up. In. What's next? In. I. I can hear the I sound there. Yep. What comes next? I. Thin. Yep. N is at the end. Well done. Okay, the next one. I'm going to change my word to thick opposite of thin okay thin is like this and thick is like this okay so let's sound it out what's the first sound in thick again yep without the voice not an f what comes next thick what can you hear here ick ick yep 
Now we've got a thick. What's at the end? What kind of a k is normally at the end of the word? Yep, it's a k digraph. Well done. Okay, thick. The next one we're going to write is going to be moth. Looks like a butterfly. Okay, they normally brown, a little bit fuzzy on their wings. Moth. Okay, so sound it out. You put it in your phone in frame. Remember, if you can't keep up, just pause the video and join me later. What's the first sound in moth? Mmm. What comes next? M off. Oh, yeah. Now I've got m off moth. Okay, remember this digraph is quite special. It could be at the beginning, middle, or end of the word. This time it's at the end. Okay. Now we're going to move on to some more challenging words, okay? This time, I would like you to draw three lines on your phone in frame. So rub out your whole board, but you need to make sure you've got enough space. And these are quite tricky, these words. So draw three lines for me, like that. One, two, three. So now I've got one, two, three, four, phoneme frames. So the words I'm going to give you now have got four sounds in them. Okay, we can do them together. The first word we're going to write is think. Like think, think in your head. Okay, what's the first sound in think? Yep, digraph over here. What comes next? Look how I'm going to break it up. Ink. What could you hear first? Ink. I. Yep. Now I've got an I together. When I join them together, it makes thi. But there's a sound missing at the end. Thi. Ink. Ink. What did you hear first? Ink. The n sound. Okay. And let's sound that out again. Thi. Thin. Thing. What's at the end? K. But this time it's not a k digraph, okay? It's a kicking k. So let's sound it out and blend it again. It ink think. Okay? Remember these words are quite challenging because there's four phonemes in there. But we have to break it up. So rub out your sounds, leave your frame. This time we're going to write the word math. Okay, maths, like when we have maths time after lunchtime normally. Okay, maths. So sound it out. What's the first sound in maths? Mm. Write that down. This is a tricky one. What comes next? M A F S. A. Now join these two together. That makes M A M A F S. It's quite tricky to hear those sounds. Yep, the silent comes first and then m a math but there's a sound at the end maths is at the end well done okay and we're going to do another one this time we're going to write thank like thank you okay so rub out your sounds leave your frames What's the first sound in thank? Okay, if you're feeling brave, you think you can do it by yourself, pause the video, have a go by yourself, and then you can join me afterwards. What's the first sound in thank? Okay, break it up. What comes next? Ank. Ah. Now join these two together. Ah, sa, ink. Ink. Mm. And what's at the end? A n thang, thank, thank. Again, it's kicking k, not a k digraph this time. Okay, well done. So that's a n thank. Well done. Okay, the next part. Oh, one more word before we move on. I'd like you to write the word cloth, cloth, like a cloth. Okay cloth 
What's the first sound in cloth? Yep, it's a k, but this time it's with a curly k. Doesn't matter if you put kicky cut there, as long as you can hear the right sound. But next time, just remember the spelling is with a curly cut. Cloth. K loth. What's there? Loth. L. Well done. Now join these two together. K -l -kl -oth. Oth. What can you hear? Oth sound. And what's at the end? K -l -oth. Cloth. Yep. TH digraph. Okay, well done. Right, rub out your boards. We're going to answer a question now. So we're going to start off with reading. Rub out your phoneme frame and your sounds. And when you're ready, I want you to have a go at reading my question. Okay, and then I want you to think about the question. Does it make sense? Is your answer going to be a yes or a no? Write it down on your whiteboard and show me. Okay, so my question is going to be, Don't forget to sound out your digraphs as one sound. Okay, when you're ready, remember after we sound out each word, we go back to the beginning and read it again. So we're really using our memory to remember words. So we have to do less and less sounding out each time. Okay, so what's the first word? K -a -n can a can a no, that doesn't make a k sound. Watch it carefully. What is it? It's a digraph. Ch, ip, ch, ip, chip. Go back and read it again. Can a chip. No, we can't sound out this one. It's a tricky word. B. Go back and read it again. Can a chip be? No, it's not a t. Try again. Yep. Ick, thick. Let's go back and read it again. Can a chip be thick? Can a chip be thick? Can a chip be thick? What's a chip? Chip like chips. Chips that you get from McDonald's, chips that you get from KFC, chips that you might bake at home. Can they be thick? Can they be fat? Think about it. Is your answer a yes or a no? Yes, they can be thick. You can have thin chips and you can have thick chips. My favourite. Mm, yum, yum. Okay, let's rub out the question. Well done. That was good reading. We're going to move on to our short sentence now. So get your sentence fingers ready. Okay, if you are reading at home with your grown-ups and you're logging onto your bug club books as well, it's really important that you make sure you are seeing those digraphs in there. You're not sounding them out separately as t, but you're remembering the digraph, okay? And it's really important that when you get to the end of the sentence, you go back and read it again to see if it makes sense. So you're developing your memory as well. You're remembering the words. By the time you get to the end of the sentence, you can read it next time without sounding it out. Okay, so memory games are really, really important for that. Okay, let's move on. The sentence we're going to write is the moth got stuck it's quite tricky that one let's try again the moth got stuck your turn the well done pause the video and have a go by yourself when you're ready to join me what was my sentence again the moth got stuck first word is the okay log in uh, sorry let's just start writing the Start with a capital, it's the beginning of a sentence. What was the next word? The moth. Sound out moth. M o f. M o f. Digraph. The moth. What was the next word? The moth got. Sound it out. G o t. G o t. The moth got stuck 
That's a tricky one. Let's sound it out together. What's the first sound you can hear in stuck? Stuck. T. Stuck. Ah. Uh. What was the ah uh sound? Ah, uh, ah, uh, umbrella. Stuck. Uh, stuck. Sound at the end. And this time it's a k digraph. Okay? Full stop. Let's check our sentence. The moth got stuck. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. What's a moth? It's like a butterfly flies and it got stuck. Okay, it does make sense. We've got our finger spaces, we've got a capital letter at the beginning and full stop at the end. Well done. Okay, well done children. That was the end of today's session. So let's go back. Yesterday we did this one with the voice. Mm. Today without the voice. And our tricky word today was, was. Okay, see if you can still remember it, write it down. Okay, how do we write it? Remember what kind of a word is it? It's a W special. Whenever you hear a O sound after a W sound, it's always written with the letter A, was. Okay, keep practicing that tricky word. Now today, at the end of this session, I'd like you to play a game on busy things, okay? If you've got access to busy things, I'd like you to log on to that. So go onto your LGFL busy things account. And I'm just going to share my screen with you so you can see where to find the game. So when you log in, okay, make sure you select this one up here, normal USO login. Log in with your own username and password. Once you've logged in, okay, your window should look like, look like this. Click on early years and choose Mr. Stepper Group 2. Now, if you're from another school, you're not going to have this option on there. You can just log on from the reception page for next activities. Okay, so for, if you're from our school, you go into Mr. Stepper Group 2. Okay, click on phase two, three, and four, basic letters and sounds. And I'd like you to play in blending and segmenting. I'd like you to play the game word chains this one over here so each time you're just changing one phoneme to make a new word okay okay so if you're from another school you can also log in um, if you've got access to lgfl busy things so go into your lgfl busy things account okay click on early years tab click on reception okay click on literacy communication and language click on phonics program Phase two, three and four basic letters and sounds, blending and segmenting, and your game word chains is down there. Okay, now the difference is, if I go back onto my homepage, um, is that our school has access to group one and group two games where I keep changing the settings every night so that children can play the games with the sounds, the latest graphemes that we've been teaching, okay? So children from other schools, you'll only have that feature if your teacher enables that for you. Otherwise, you'll just have a universal access where you can just practice lots of blending and segmenting games on there. Um, but you've also got access to phonics games on the reception tab as well, okay? I hope that makes sense. So I hope you enjoyed today's session. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow with our new sound. Okay, thank you. Take care. Bye.